Every day I wake up, I want to be the best. I don't understand normalcy. This shit's not motivating. When I get up, I try to find what can I be better at? What can I do more of? How can I grow? How do I improve? Everybody wants to quit when the pain starts kicking in. The pain starts kicking in, that's when it starts. You gotta push more. You gotta do two or three. You gotta go until you fail or you won't get better. Every day I wake up, I want to be the best. Hey guys, John and Sharice here. We're back and we wanted to bring you some more information about IV therapy or IV nutrition or IV drips, however you want to call it. There's a lot of cool names out there. But really what it is is getting all the good stuff that you need or might help protect your body or give your body help with weight loss or with recovery right into your system as fast as possible and with the highest absorbency. So IV therapy has been around a long time. You know, obviously me and Sharice have these IVs in our arm right now. We're trying to build up our immune system, get our B vitamins in there like B12, your B complex, glutathione, which is super antioxidant, mm -hmm. injectable vitamin C goes through an IV bag. You know, usually people, they associate IVs with hospital, right? They go in the hospital, they see the white IV bed. That's for hydration, okay? So you can get hydration, you know, in your body. So if you're dehydrated, um, so that's when they will hook you up in the hospital. But this is more elective. So this will help you if, you know, you're feeling down or run down, might think you're becoming sick. Like I said, you want better recovery, athletic performance. I mean, we even have a, I'm pretty sure we have a PMS formula yes, as well we too, if you have really bad cramps, or you know, I believe there's some magnesium in there if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, so you could do that. Also, you have to remember people like me, I don't necessarily like needles, but if it's something that's gonna give me the best bang for my bag, let's call it, right. you know, I'll do it. Because you know, if you're sick or you're feeling not so great, or even if you're feeling fine and you just wanna boost yourself, yep. this is the way to go for sure. Definitely way to go. So, I mean, these are very simple and very easy to do. All you have to do is come in tight medical center and ask us, hey, listen, I wanna do an IV therapy. If you don't know what you want in your IV therapy, we have set blends mm -hmm. already set up for you guys. It kind of breaks down what it is and how to help you out. Or you can build your own custom bag. There's a list of different things that you can add to the bag to make you feel better, better athletic performance, arginine for vasodilation, L-carnitine, weight loss, B complex energy biotin for hair, skin, and nails, ladies. That's another good one. We've got the PMS blend that will help you with your cramps and bloating uh, and lower back pain. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things that we have here as far as IV nutrition or IV therapy that can help you guys. And we can customize those bags for you guys for whatever you're feeling or whatever's challenging you that day. Uh, maybe you had a little bit too much to drink the night before. We have some special bags for that. So right. that has some Zofran in yeah. it. Maybe some Pepsid, help yeah. your tummy out a little yeah. bit. Nausea, so if you're getting very nauseated, this is a great thing to help you get over the nausea. Mm -hmm. um, if you're just feeling lethargic, this, there's some 
like this for B complex and some different things in there that will help energy. Even for concentration, the NAD mm -hmm. IV therapy bag is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it will definitely help you focus, concentrate, and exhilarate more energy throughout every, your whole body. So it's really, really cool. Um, usually the IV therapies last for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so they do take a little bit of time to get in, not much. You know, you can always do a lot of these things intermuscular too, with a little baby insulin needle, and we sell those different blends as well mm -hmm. that you can do in the comfort of your own home or office. But if you want to come in and you want the highest absorbency and the fastest transportation rate, then IV nutrition through Titan Medical Center or IV therapy is definitely the way to go. It can definitely help you out in what you're trying to do, and we definitely recommend it. I love it. The best. So if you're looking for the best, you guys got to call or text the best. That's Tight Medical Center at 727-389-3220. We can make an appointment or you guys can just walk through the door at our beautiful location down at 912 Channel Side, state of our facility, the best for you guys. So we'll see you soon at Tight Medical Center, guys. Thank you. See you guys. Officially here, we're landed. Yes, sir. Customs. Yes, sir. Turks and Caicos, Providencial. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be, it's 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 gorgeous. So wait till you see all the good stuff that we got planned. So it's gonna be a lot of relaxing by the pool, I think. Yes. And then hitting the beach and hitting that beautiful water. So stay tuned, you're gonna love what you see. trusty titan bag with me carry all my tech tools with me and uh all my stuff for the pool this place it's amazing so i've got like three pools here just real real cool um we always go the exact same one which is like right outside we stay but they've got like an adults only pool jacuzzi there another pool a uh, huge beach area water is just gorgeous so yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna show you some of the, the gorgeous water in the ocean here. Going jet skiing out here, it's, it's awesome. Hi. People are awesome here, so it's just it's a really good time. Let's check it out. get like the size. Is it? Oh my god. This is a this is this tutorial guys. Oh. <gasps> Peter you're gonna ruin them all. Oh. There you go. There you go. Tutorial. Improvise. At its best. Improvising. That is how you use chopsticks. <laughs> 
Last day here, Turks, gotta get that vacation in, right? Vacation's key to anybody, and you should take them, you know, maybe once a year at least. We haven't had one in two years, and uh, usually we would take one two times a year, and it just helps with de-stress, recharging, not burning you out, whatever your job is, or family, and everything like that. Now, it's even okay to bring your, your son or your family with you, obviously, because, you know, you should be spending quality time too, and with work all the time, you really can't spend that quality time like you want. So at that point, this was a great way for us to just get away, family time, enjoy, get a nice suntan, but relax, decompress a little bit. And even though I was working on this trip, it wasn't that bad. You know, I had a great team at Titan, you know, at the headquarters holding it down for me. So, you know, big shout out to all the girls there. You know, Sharice is still working on out here. So, you know, love her for that. But you know, even me. So it don't stop, the grind never stops, but uh, you can change your environment, change the stress level, and uh, it'll help your health in, in the long run. Beautiful, right? Yes. Yeah, just like her. Ah. <laughs> All right, time to go in. We had some dinner last night, pack and get ready for tomorrow. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week we come at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will help your relationship, future relationship, or maybe have you learned some of the mistakes from your past relationships that you can you know, put forth to your new relationship to hopefully you won't make those same mistakes or mistakes that we maybe encountered or some people we know have encountered and we've seen for ourselves. Yeah. So uh, obviously relationships are important uh, you having developing and growing your relationship is important and always progressing that relationship, whatever it is, um, it's also important. So this edition is going to be vacation edition. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, usually me and Cherise, well, we usually like to take two trips a year. And because COVID this last year, we really haven't traveled in almost like two years. Yeah. Um, just with the lockdowns and all this other stuff and all this crazy traveling and the business and all that, we really just couldn't get away. But, you know, everybody comes to their breaking point, uh, you know, and some people need to be recharged, and especially relationships, too, because, you know, both parties could be working, you got family, you got all these other stresses around. So taking time for yourself or having a little mini vacay or a full-blown vacation, if, if you can do it, mm -hmm. is always key and always going to help. Um, and it helps in a number of different ways. So, you know, this year, you know, we went to Turks and Caicos. Um, I think it's our, it's our fifth time going there. We yeah, love going there. Same place, too. <laughs> same place. You know, we do the exact same thing there. Basically, just <laughs> chill by the pool and beach. Uh, not even really leave the, the place we where we're staying didn't at. didn't leave the resort once, actually. You know, it's that nice. You know, some people, when they go on vacations, they want to go out. They want to, you know, they have they all these the plans. Excursions. And excursions and all that stuff, you know, that they might not get to do. And that's what they like to do. And that de-stresses them. And that's what they like to do on vacation. Other people like ourselves, or maybe you, like to you know, just go out there and kind of relax, decompress, de-stress, not really have to think about a whole bunch of things, even though we did. We worked while we were out there, yeah. but it was just a different environment. You right. know, it's a, a, you know, an unstressful environment to be out there. It's relaxed. Plus, you don't want to have the timelines. You know, that, that, I think that's our biggest thing, because like once you schedule something, it's like, okay, you got to go and you got to get in this taxi and then you got to go here and then you got to go on this boat to go to this mountain mm -hmm. so you can do this one thing where you mm -hmm. go on this little rope and go across and, you know, get to whatever that's <laughs> the called. The zip line? <laughs> the zip line. You know, I'm sure it would be a blast, you know, yeah. but then you got to, like, go. You know, yeah. it's kind of, it's putting you back on a schedule, yeah. which, you know, we kind of like to 
clock out for once. Yeah. That would be our only time to ever clock out. Right. You know, and um, this time it was actually nice because the girls here at the office, this was the first time where I felt like we actually were able to enjoy the vacation yep. and we weren't kind of like sucked into the office on the everyday stuff. Yep. Um, and they ha- they handled themselves pretty good. They held it down for they sure. Did. So big shout out to our staff. Yes. Everybody at the Type Medical Center headquarters that made it happen. Uh, all the way from our office people here, our medical assistants, our medical providers, obviously our production here with art and everything like that. So it was, it was really good. Everybody held it down. So we're really grateful for that. You know, it, it's hard to do. You know, mm-hmm. it's hard to disconnect, especially when you own your own business or you're, you're really entailed or in the trenches of your job or career. Um, so, you know, you're always worried about everything else, you know, and make sure everything going perfect and everything like that. So it's kind of stressful that just thinking about things back home. Um, mm-hmm. But if you get the chance, definitely go and do it. You know, you should definitely plan something. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a full-blown vacation where you're traveling out somewhere. You could take, like, a, a, maybe a long weekend, maybe a Friday through Sunday right. type deal. Um, you know, if you live in a decent area, like here in Florida, pretty much you can go you down go the anywhere. coast. You know, there's beaches all up and down. You know, you can stay at a hotel maybe you guys haven't already stayed at, bread and breakfasts. Like, there's just different things to do. I mean, and you can still do some activities out there. Like, for us, and we'll show you some of this video in this, like, you know, basically, you know, we, we went jet skiing for three days. We got to bring our son. Yeah. Uh, we actually got to take him out of school for a couple of days. Yeah, we lied. And we, yeah. told the, we told them that he was 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he could ride the jet ski by himself. And we're in the island. I mean, nobody yeah. checks IDs right. or anything. They're not going to. I mean, he looks. The kid's 11, but yeah. he looks like he's probably about 15. He looks at least 13, <laughs> At 14. least there's, you know, a little peach fuzz coming through. Yeah. So I was like, well, forget it. Let's just get him to ride his own jet ski. I'm like, yep. do you think he can do it? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I think he can. I'm like, he's not going to fall off. He's not going to die, right? We're good? Yeah. <laughs> but he had a blast. Yeah. You know, he wanted to do it every day. Yeah, he had a good time. He's like, I want to ride the fastest ski. I'm like, all right, man. You ride yeah, he put ski. me on the turtle ski. Yeah. Not fun. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, and we went to the most <laughs> reputable people there. We were at this really nice resort. And reputable oh, people funny. down by This is real funny. Literally, two out of the three days, my jet ski ran out of gas. <laughs> So they didn't properly prepare these things, right? Now you look, I'm like, hey, you guys, sure this is okay? Yeah, it's all, it's all good, man. Like, all right, cool. You go out there and like, beep, beep. Like, uh-oh. Like, and then it won't even go. I'm like, oh. No, the first day, the first day, we went out there, right? And John's on the jet ski. And, you know, it kind of like started beeping or whatever. And he's like, I don't know what this thing's going to do, but right. I don't know if it's going to blow up or what. We got to go back. And yeah. we're like, oh, man. Luckily, we're kind of like already almost at the 30-minute the mark or whatever yeah. it was where we got to go back anyway. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, me, I give people a hard time, okay? So if you ever know, if you go wrong with me, you're going to know about it, and I'm going to make a big deal about it usually. So when we go back to the jet skis the next day, I'm like, hey, I just want to make sure you guys check these jet skis. They got gas. Everything's good. Like, you did it. You did it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I did. I gassed it myself. Da, 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 da. So we went out there. I swear, we weren't even, like, maybe not even five minutes riding. And John's jet ski, which wasn't even the jet ski the day before, (laughs) starts beeping. And you know what I told him? I told him, listen. I said, what's the worst that can happen? I said, we go out there, jet ski dies. Not my problem. That's their problem. You ride back in with me on my jet ski. What happened? Jet ski dies. (laughs) Oh, we had to ride back in on Peter's jet ski. It was funny. It was (laughs) funny. It was fun. It was cool too yeah. because you know, like that, like kind of bringing back, back memories for me. Like, because I used to ride jet skis up north uh, in the summer, like all summer, um, and I was a really young age, like Peter. So it was really cool, kind of brought back memories for that. And then you know, with technology these days, it's just really cool because you can capture all these memories. GoPro over here. GoPro. I mean, you know, most cameras are waterproof now and to a certain extent, um, but you know, I put the GoPro out there, got us out there. Just got him on the ski. You know, you got to see some, like, abandoned boats out there. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. So that kind of stuff was really awesome. And, you know, you take these memories back and you create your own little videos, you know, and memories, right? Because I remember when we were kids, you know, it was the... The, the, the disposable camera they had a, eh, eh, or it was the, got, or uh, is the big recorder like this big yeah, and you weren't taking that on the water and you weren't taking that near no. any water no <laughs> no so you know like you know, stuff like that because I mean if I would have had the technology that we have today like GoPros I mean man I would have been able to capture so much John cool stuff. was I mean back in the day he was doing like flips yeah. out there like yeah. a dolphin yeah so it was it was really cool you know at that <laughs> point like just to have that. Uh, and then, you know, just, like I said, relaxing. And then 
recharging and then resetting, especially when you're a couple. If it's just you, let's say you don't have any kids and you're, you know, you're going out there, you're having that quality bonding time together. You guys are out there. You guys can enjoy yourselves together. This is when you make good memories. You laugh, right? Um, you know, you could eat good dinners out. You know, I mean, they do so many cool things on different vacations and you can pick all kinds of different things. Maybe you like to go and you like to go out and basically like in the woods and you want to go camping possibly. I know Sharice ain't up for that. No. You know, I like, this, I don't want to know. Some people like the outdoors. So, I mean, you can pick a number of different activities for vacation and go do it. Um, you know, it's just, like I said, it's really, really cool. Even just to get away and to see new places. Or even if you like, there's a certain place you like to go to, you can go back there because that might be your zen place and that might be, you know, where you recharge the best. So there's no, there's no right and wrong on vacation. It's just uh, don't stress on vacation. And like I said, for me and her, like, we try not to set any schedules of things. Right. Because we're always like, yeah. on, like, I mean, I can't even say we're on a set schedule here because, I mean, we're just, it's like things change by the hour sometimes right. for us. That's right. Um, but it's always something. It's like, and the next thing I know, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's like 10 o'clock at night, yep. you know, and. Next day, it happens all over again. You know, what we didn't do today rolls into tomorrow. Yep. And it just, you know, it is nice. I think we might be the only people, because I do feel like even when we have went places with, like, friends, you know, like, as a group, they kind of want to do, like, you know, cool things. Because sometimes you go to places that have, like, um, for instance, I probably want to do it, too. They got, like, those caves, right? Yep. And you go in the cave, and it's super cool because it's got the clear water and this and that. Yep. But then it's like an hour drive. Yeah. And it's an hour drive back. Now, yeah. the hour drive there, this is what kills me, is that whole time you're losing the sun. That's right. That's <laughs> you're right. in a vehicle yeah. driving. And me and him agree on this. Yeah. So Some people don't. You know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. And me and John, listen, on vacation, I am not getting up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning to go see a cave, okay? Right. <laughs> I can assure you that. It's true. So, you know, we you know, get to sleep in. It's nice a little bit. Get up, eat breakfast, chill. It's not rush, 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 rush. Yeah. You know, because it's like that all the time for us. So yeah. it's nice to just kind of decompress for a second. Yeah. Slow it down just a little bit from what we're used to. Yeah. It's just, it's everly. Just go, go, go and adapt. So this is one thing. You know, the other thing was, was it's the first time, obviously, traveling. Like I said, uh, for COVID, uh, mm -hmm. that was the last time we traveled, and uh, you know we didn't know what to expect traveling, like during these times, right? Because how the airlines act and all that. So we got a learning experience, and you know usually we'd show up to the airport, even international flights, maybe an hour and a half before flights, because um, you can get the book, you know, and, and check in the night before, and you already have your boarding pass and stuff like that. I thought for sure they had put me on some some, some no fly yeah. list or something when they couldn't check in so online. This was, yeah, this was the first time we were not able to check in uh, online. I'm like, oh my god, what's this all about, right? So I called the airlines. They they wouldn't like give me a reason. They're like, oh, you just have to check in with the person there. I'm like, okay. So we get there, and it's like, all right. You have to stay in this line if you're only international and they check off all these different things and every country each country i guess has its different laws or uh standards of what they will accept for you to travel to their country because of covid um and like Tristan and kate goes like you had to have a, a negative swab within five days mm -hmm. um you had to buy health insurance that was going to cover covid transportation yep. emergencies and then you had to upload that not the insurance card the actual policy yeah. And then they will issue a visa to you to travel the Turks. Well, when you check in, we used... Uh, even though you upload it, yeah. why even bother uploading it if you've got to go through a whole line yeah. to basically upload it through a person? Yeah. Like, it's uploaded. Okay, cool. Let me see it again. Yeah. You know, it was really crazy. So, <laughs> we had to do all this to travel out of the United States, okay? And then the... Back in? And then the rule to get back in is... Nobody cares. Is the United States... <laughs> You have to have a negative test within three days of your travel. No one cares. Well, we got the test, and it was really cool because Turks, they don't charge you for it. All the resorts do them for free. Yeah. So you got a free free negative or a free swab. And ours was free negative, negative, obviously. Swab. And uh, <laughs> well, when we went to go back into the United States, nobody checked, nobody it. checked it. Nobody they checked it. They were harder it. at getting out of the United States, the United than the U.S. was to come back in. I mean, USA! Uh, what, what the hell are we doing, guys? Like, our border's already unsecure, and, and, you know, coming in from all these other countries already, and now we have people traveling that are coming back in. You know, th they might have caught COVID over I'm there. I'm sitting knows? over there with my three envelopes with our little negative swabs yeah. in my purse, which I can put many other things in my purse besides this, and it's in my purse, like, waiting, waiting, like, okay, who do we got to give this to? Because I got to go back to the United States of America, yeah. right? 
but nobody cared. And even like when you travel international, when you come back in, usually they have you go to these kiosks and you type in all your information, declarations, and all that stuff. Um, so it's a little bit more of a process than you have to go to the, the, the booth where the person's at and give them that. Where now, they cut that out totally. It was actually easier for us to go through customs <laughs> than it was before. <laughs> like, are we ass backwards in this or, or what's going on out there? Come on, guys. Like, we got to get our stuff together in the United States because, man, I, I feel like our borders are very unsecure in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. So At, at least that, you know you can come back home. Yeah, at least you know you can come back home. That, that's, uh, that's the that's biggest the best thing, part, right? Guess, I'm right? not going to complain about that. I won't complain about you. <laughs> I definitely won't. Plus, I got through it a lot quicker. <laughs> I got through quicker. You know? And then wherever you're going to travel to, right? Start looking up tips and tricks on what is going on there or if they have any, like, things that will expedite your travel. Mm -hmm. For example, we've been traveling to Turks and Caicos, like I said, this is our fifth time. Well, after the first two times, I learned there was this thing called Fast Track. Fast Track. And it's only by the country. So... At that point, you could you could get a hold of Fast Track. You can pay them in advance, and they're waiting for you right when you get off the plane. And what they do you is skip they skip everyone. They skip everybody in their customs. You get your bags. You go all through, and all these people are oh, waiting. They're like, oh, I want this. Like, no, you have to sign up beforehand. And then even back, like when you're getting ready to travel back to the U.S., you still have to go security and stuff like that through this country. They just fast track you. They walk you in front of everybody in the line and just put you right through. It's, it's really awesome. I mean, I, I really don't even know what a line is, but that's fine. So it, it's really cool. So there's other <laughs> ways that you guys can expedite travel things, too, um, to get the most out of your vacation and your time. So these are just some of the tips and tricks that we've experienced on vacation or some of the things that we do. So you guys plan your vacation for a de-stressor, relaxer, recharging. Reconnection. Reconnection. That's a beautiful word right there. Yeah. So make sure you guys are doing this at least once a year. So you guys are, you know, just like I said, you guys are de-stressing, reconnecting. That was a beautiful word. I love that. Okay. And, and, and being a better couple all the way around, you know. Um, even if you're solo, right, you can go on vacations. There's single vacations out there you guys can do where you guys can see or meet people out there. Um, so that's it, guys. If you guys want to see a lot of our content from this trip and other trips, you guys can go to our Tight Medical Center YouTube page. It's on there, our social medias. Plus, we'll probably have some clips on here for you, too, in the show. So... That's been another great Cupid's Corner with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi, I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys (laughs) next week with another Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, or check it out on our YouTube page or our social medias. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're out of here. See ya.